I didn't think that this was necessary because the download is the same as uh, SCP Director's Cut, but you all have asked me how to download SCP Ultimate Edition Reborn, and therefore I'm gonna make the video. I'm gonna teach you how to install this because maybe you wanna be sure that what you're doing is correct and you don't wanna install the wrong thing, and therefore, here we go. Here's how to install SCP Ultimate Edition Reborn, uh, the latest version, which is 1.5.3. First of all, I'll leave a link down in the description below for the ModDB page for SCP Ultimate Edition Reborn. And once you are here, go in Summary, go into Download. You're going to have to click Download 304.6K. Look at the rating, always do that make sure that it's the real one or well just make sure that the developer is the same rating check everything always do that be responsible when you install stuff online remember for click on this click on scp containment breach ultimate edition reborn 1.5.3 i'm gonna download the zip file because i personally prefer it prefer it so we're gonna go with that in this case we're gonna click download now and now we wait it's gonna automatically download uh the zip file after a while so you just wait for a second you're gonna see there we go in the top right we see that it's now downloading the uh, zip it's gonna take a while and after it's done i'm gonna show you the last step you gotta do it's very very simple and then you are literally good to go so and as it downloads i just want to make sure that you know always make sure that the mods you are downloading are trustworthy in the case of scp ultimate edition reborn if you do everything correctly it's trustworthy this is the right mod manager and uh, this is the right place to download it. But never ever download stuff that you don't trust fully, okay? So that's rule number one of the internet. Anyhow, once it's gonna be done, you're gonna have the zip file, and once you open it, you will have your folder with SCP Containment Breach Ultimate Edition. You can extract it, but personally, what I do is that I simply drag and drop this onto my um, desktop. That's what I personally do. You can extract it in the desktop. I do this because I don't know. I feel like it's uh, uh, more straightforward and it takes uh, it, it takes a little less than doing the wall extraction thing and getting into the right folder and blah, blah, blah. So this is what I do, but you can do whatever you wish. Now it's telling me, hey, you have duplicate files because I already have SCP Ultimate Edition 1.5.3. So I'm just gonna substitute so that I can show you exactly what to do once the extraction is complete. Here we go, it's done. And then you can just open the folder. You go into SCP Ultimate Edition Reborn 1.5.3.exe. It's gonna likely give you this because, well, your computer does not recognize the order. Of course, it's an order of a mod. Remember, if this pops up and you do not trust the developer of whatever you downloaded, then just don't execute. But in this case, it's Ultimate Edition Reborn. I absolutely trust the developers of this mod. They are absolutely awesome. And therefore, just gonna launch it. You're gonna see that this is absolutely safe. I also have, um, I also can do a little anti-malware scan with uh, my anti-malware. Um, it doesn't see any threat in the XC. And therefore, I mean, it, it's completely cool, all right? And then guess what? You can launch and here you go. You are in SCP Ultimate Edition Reborn. You can play it, you can do whatever. And, well, you can finally experience the game for yourself. Smash the like button if you like this quick tutorial. Subscribe for more for Xavier TV. And, uh, well, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.